Excuse me, ma'am, what time is it? You tell me, what time is it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm too scared to look. Is that a.m. or p.m.? 6 a.m. <laughs> Where are you going? We are Where are we going? We're sitting at the bar here at LAX and we are headed to Dallas, Texas because we're attending the O'Reilly Auto Parts Conference. So. We have no idea what we're doing out there. There's no schedule, no nothing. So I don't know what this video is gonna be like. All I know is we're getting the party started real early. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully you guys enjoy and we'll take you around Dallas. Just got the breakfast burrito. What's the review? Hey, aren't you Italian? Yep. Do you know this hot sauce? First time seeing it. Is it good? I don't know, you have to tell me. Drench it. I like hot. Hot is good. That's good. Oh, shh. Mmm. It's It's really vinegary. Oh, mm. shit. Mmm. Mmm. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. I think I'm going to pass okay. on it. Got I don't it. know. See what you Italians did. I'm not a hot sauce person, but it's good. pretty good. Boarding is now complete. Flight attendant, secure the cabin for departure. What is this hotel called? This is called the Fairmont Dallas. And then I think we're going up. We got a Starbucks in here. Yeah. We're on the 24th. We're on the top floor. Damn. <laughs> Freaking penthouse. Top notch. <laughs> okay, O'Reilly. All right. <laughs> Oof. All the way up, baby. That's where we're going. See that? Top. Well, the air's fresh. Yeah, it's quite the ride. It's quite the ride. Let's see. Okay, we're. 24. It feels high. Whoa, it feels different up here. Oh, we fancy. Mm hmm. Okay. Feels like very New York y or yeah, it does. New Orleans. I don't feel like we're in Texas at all. Oh my gosh. Oh, Look at that view. Okay, it's really windy, but we're here in the city of Dallas. but <laughs> we just thought we'd go into town and get some food. We're gonna try out Twisted Trumpo because I wanna try Tex-Mex. I wanna see what it's about. There's a little bit of a debate on if California is better or Texas is better in terms of Mexican food. I'll be the judge of that. I wanna try their pastor, so let's go on in. Yep. Oh, 
there's that. This is pretty nice because you can order beer with your meal. Presentation looks really good. It looks really good. Maybe some onions on the side, a little Ooh, big old chili. Put some, some rice and beans. Okay. Okay. Well, Get I'm in there. I'm so excited. Okay, wait. Let me pour a little bit. Gotta give it the review. Okay. And then I'm gonna do a bit of lemon. Yep. Okay. That looks really good. Yeah, it does. It's really Meat red. It looks really good. Okay. Good, Let's good, try good. It. Oh, hold up. And then I gotta try the orchata for you guys, too. Mmm. Hold up. Mmm, that has flavor to really? it. Really? Uh oh. California's in trouble. California is oh, in trouble. I'm gonna have a let's few see, more let's bites. See. We'll be right back with you. Let me get in here too. The real Mexican. Okay, what's your opinion? The beer's cold. Mm-hmm. On the food? Yeah, on the food. What do you think? <clears throat> well, it's got a nice crisp to the meat. The tortilla's got a nice softness to it. Mm-hmm. And, um, they put a lot of like sauce on there. I don't know the red stuff. I don't know what that is exactly, but it's really, it's really, fl really flavorful. It's and they give you lemon. more lemons than they do in California. I don't know why. Yeah, but why they're skimping they, on yeah. the lemons And, and out there. what I like here is they don't put like those cucumbers and those uh, jicama oh, yeah. things on the side. Like, yeah, that's it's just like, ridiculous. Nobody eats that. No guys. one has Nobody it. Nobody eats that. It's just a those waste. Cucumbers. Just don't even put them there. <laughs> but, but, mm. I will say they're missing. Uh, pineapple on the top. Yeah, I think that was like an extra thing you could have like paid for. California but... sometimes it just comes with it. Yeah, it just comes with it. This is a tough one. This is good flavor. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. I think spice mm. level is perfect for me because I'm really sensitive it's to good spice. Flavor, though. It is. This is a tough one. Look at this. And rice and beans are not bad. Yeah, put some uh, grilled onions on. It's good? Yeah, but see, I like it with that on. Oh yeah, I'm diving in for another one. Let me try, let me try. Mmm. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, this is better than most California places I've had because it's not too sweet. Yeah. There's a lot of times where you have it and it's like you can barely drink it. This one's actually really good. Bunch of fat asses in Oxnard are drinking that sweet horchata, <laughs> that's why. <laughs> it's true. You try it, I think it's good. They're hooked on sodium and sugar. Okay guys, we just rolled up to the Omni Dallas and we were sent over here because there's an O'Reilly Auto Parts banquet happening. So we're just here to feel out the vibes and see what it's like. I mean, it is O'Reilly Auto Parts, so maybe it's gonna be a little... It's all you can drink, they said. It's a little crazy, yeah, so... They gotta let off some stress, you know, slanging all those parts all day. They gotta... <laughs> I'm on vacation right now. I They're going to get wild over there. So Gotta we're heading careful. over. We will see you in there. Look at this. They're getting set up. Oh, they got cars inside there. Really? Surprise. They get to see a nomad. Stop. Yeah. It's like 300 yards away, but I could see a nomad. Oh my gosh. Welcome Team O'Reilly. Thank you, O'Reilly. We are stoked to be here. Psyched. Not stuck. <laughs> <We're> psyched. psyched. <laughs> Is that copyright if I use yeah, Jamie's Jamie slogan? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Hold up. Look at that. Oh, is this where the banquet is? Maybe. Oh, look at all those people. Maybe this is where the banquet is. We gotta go on through here. Okay, I must be blind. Um, there's the nomad. I don't know how he spotted that from way back there. Yeah, 
that eagle eyes. That's the hunter in you. You just see it, got it. Oh wow, they even put it along the stairs here. Wow. wow. This is this is nuts so far. I mean, it's dead because it's, the convention hasn't started yet, but I can imagine this being really packed. Oh, look at that truck. <gasps> Let's check out all of these. We have some time to kill. That Sun King delivery. That's cool. Look at the patina as they did. Wow, maybe, cute. maybe that's I how I that should do my interior with the plaid. <laughs> this thing is so nice. That's pretty cool. I like it. Very cool. You could put like a bed in there, you could sleep in there. Yeah. You could live out of this thing. Good style. Look at that. Let's see what else they have. I don't know much about bikes. Oh, everybody's coming out of it. Yeah. Oh, so this must be. Uh... Check out that nomad. That looks just like Rick's nomad. <laughs> Dang, look at it. Oh, everybody coming out. It's like a party. Yeah. Look at this. Wow. This thing. Oh my gosh. I love the gold spinners on it. Ooh. It's got an LS1. My 4 l 60 Look at those. Yeah. Let's see if we got camera in the house. Yeah. <laughs> you recognize your local store manager? <laughs> okay, so this is a conference for all of the store managers for O'Reilly Auto Parts across the U.S. So there, as you can see, there are a ton of people filing in behind me um, to go to the banquet. So we're going to go in there very shortly, hang out with everyone. There's a lot of people. In there. There look at their herding out. I know. Look at, look at that. <laughs> a bunch so. of Texas Longhorns. <laughs> I cannot believe how many people are in here. There's got to be thousands, like thousands on thousands of people just filing out of here for the conference. Yeah. That's I'm, I'm like mind blown right now. I don't even know what to think. Okay, here we are. We are just uh, heading to the banquet. I got the VIP pass. Feels super legit. I don't know why we have VIP. I don't feel like one, but we're gonna head into the banquet, have a good time, and meet a lot of uh, O'Reilly staff. So let's head over there. All right, so we're here at the history exhibit for O'Reilly Auto Parts. It's been 65 years of O'Reilly and they have like lots of cool old images and also like original like uh i guess props and stuff for advertising like old uh parts counter really cool and then over here they got a bunch of the different states for o'reilly auto parts i saw california right here so i think now we're heading into the banquet but i just wanted to show you guys this some poker or some uh, blackjack but yeah this, this is so incredible i did not expect it to be this way so we're gonna check it out we'll show you what's happening and uh yeah have a good time
bad. This isn't like real life at all. Oh my, I just ran into the freaking mountain. Oh, this is Malibu. Oh. Out of control. Oh my! I think so. Come on, come on. Oh, I see you. I see you. I see you, player two and three. Oh, I'm gonna get you. We just finished up at the banquet and now we are heading in to Whataburger to get something to eat. This is my first the time. The review is about to go down. It's about to go down. In and out versus Whataburger. We're about to find out. You're about <laughs> to find out. Okay, we are gonna try and be as unbiased as possible. I mean, I'm most likely gonna give the best review because He's so Cal native, so I think there's a little bias. Oh, the judgment's there. already started, though. I will tell you this: this place is not as clean as an In-N-Out. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. I see a lot of trash over there. I see some open ketchup packets. I see some spilled Coca-Colas. I'm gonna be honest: um, the bathrooms were utterly disgusting. Not yeah, gonna lie, that was so, the worst I've seen. But we're not here to judge on any of that. We're here no. to judge on the burger. The burger. And that is it. That's okay. it. All right. So what do we order? Got a. We got a number Double two. Double meat, yep. Mm. Fries, With, drink. And a, and a strawberry shake. Strawberry shake mm. and a sweet and spicy bacon burger because that's what our Uber driver recommended. Mm. So mm. we're gonna give it a go. This does not look good, by the way. Oh. Dr. Pepper shake. Yeah, that's... But I'll we'll knock it till you try it. I we guess. We ain't gonna try it though. Yeah, we're not trying that. That sounds like a stomach ache. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so hungry though. Mm-hmm. We're number 91. Fire away. All right, all right, we're getting started. Okay, I see a burger in here. I think this one's yours. No, this one's mine. How does it smell? Can you smell it? It smells good, the fries. Oh, we gotta do a, a fries review. Mm, okay, okay, these are, okay, I'll say this about In-N-Out. I hate how if you don't eat the fries first, they get super cold really fast. These are steaming hot. Ooh. These are really good. Better so than in and out I can't say just yet. I want to finish everything and then give a review. Yeah. Mmm. Oh, all right. They okay. Like a little something to them, you know? They're not just plain fries. They're, they're, they're definitely crisp. a lot more hot than... Yeah. I think those fries are better than in and out Yeah, I don't know what's up with the why they can't keep their fries hot. But and also in and out their fries are really small. They're, they're so small. These yeah. got some length to them. Yeah. Okay, that's another thing right off the bat that I noticed. This burger is huge compared to in and out Yeah, so and you know what? They give you two different types of ketchups. Spicy and fancy. Fancy. I'm going for the spicy. Okay. Pop that open. Let's see what this uh, 
sweet and spicy burger is all about. Ooh, juicy. Okay, I like that. Grease on mm -hmm. the wrapper. That's one. Oh my. Flavor. I'm going in. Okay, I'm going in for mine. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. <laughs> this leaky. Hold it tight. Oh, she leaking. <clears throat> okay. We'll be right back with you. What do you think? Oh, it's got like, mustard on there. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised there's no like Thousand Islands or like ketchup or something on it, but it works. It's really good, actually. I'll say that. I like that it's a big burger, so you can like really hold it. Mm. You know what? Let me wait till I finish this before I give like a full review because it's close. It's I can see why people compare the two because it's like kind of close. It's like I guess it's your preference, but fries are better. I'm gonna be honest, as I'm like halfway through this thing now. I'm wishing it was a little like it had ketchup or whatever and I know people are gonna be like just add it just add it but this is I ordered it the way it came I didn't want to do any adjustments to it just a what was this number two number two so double neat and I mean the bun is good but it's not quite doing it for me like, you know when you finish in and out and you just feel like satisfied, you're like... Oh, that was so good. You're like, that's it. And it's also a smaller burger, so you don't feel like overly full. I think I like that over this, because I'm halfway through this and I'm like, shoot. I don't know if I can finish it. <laughs> but also, how, are been... you feeling, even if you didn't finish that right now, are you feeling like, oh, that was good? I'm like, that was like, great? Honestly, no. I'm more like diving into the fries. I'll say that I never do that at In and Out. I never eat the like fries, but here I'm so like. So basically, what you're saying is, Waterburger has better fries. Better fries. In and Out has better burgers. Yeah. So if they can just meet in the middle and just exchange, <laughs> <laughs> all right. I think we'd have a prize-winning burger joint. So. Okay. <laughs> That's just my opinion. I know people are gonna disagree, but so be it. Cheers. Hey guys, we are here at Texas Motor Speedway. This is my first time here. It's such a huge track. I think it's actually my first time at a real NASCAR track. So I'm I'm blown away. I wish we were driving stuff. It's, I mean, it's kind of tough because you see this big old empty racetrack and fortunately no driving going on, but we are gonna be doing interviews. So Derek from Vice Grip Garage is gonna be interviewing me along with um, two other YouTube channels and just doing some promo for O'Reilly. So I'll try and capture what I can today. It's gonna be a little busy, but yeah, come along. This is so crazy. <laughs> Man, I wish more than anything that we would be able to drive something. I mean, even this minivan, <sighs> something. Because the track is nice and wide open. And then we were set up here in the winner's circle. But then we thought it might be a little too boring with this background. So then we moved to over here. Check it out. Oh, there's a truck coming. Let's see if we can hop in that and go for a ride. <laughs> okay guys, so we have all the camera equipment. We are setting up for the interviews. Shout out to Danny for literally saving the day. We did not have the proper gear to do this. So yeah. he had to break into Derek's hotel room to go get the camera equipment. That was a long story, but <laughs> here we are. And uh, yeah, just getting set up so we can finally get these rolling. Okay guys, so we made it back to the convention center. I still have to do my interview with Derek. Long story, I'll try and catch you guys up on that after. But look, Kix Brooks is here. 
to do um, a performance and a signing. And then look at this. I'm like, don't even believe it. That's my name right there on an O'Reilly sign. So I'm gonna be, I guess, doing a signing, we'll see. But it's wild to have my name next to Kix Brooks. I'm like blown away. Don't deserve this at all. We started off at the airport bar. Yes, enjoying. Well, he's drinking. I'm just trying to detox a little. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> well, we're wrapping up the trip. Um, what you guys missed last night. So we got to watch Kix Brooks play. And after the show, I actually got to shake his hand. I was like so excited total, about totally that. Totally fanning out. Just love him. And then um, after that, we met up with Derek to do a quick interview for an upcoming O'Reilly podcast. Don't know the dates on that, but we did that, went back to the hotel, ordered tacos to the main lobby, mm. had amazing pastor tacos. Thank you, Derek. Yes, thank you. And what else? I think that was it. Yeah, we did some food reviewing while we were out here. Um, uh, what else did we do? We just really didn't get to see a whole lot of Dallas because we were mostly at the conference, but man, it was fun. I, it was our first time, both of us, at a real NASCAR track, which yeah. was kind of cool. Unfortunately, like no cars, but, but... It was cool to meet the other YouTubers. That was fun. That was cool connecting yeah. with them and also very cool meeting all of the O'Reilly store managers that, you know, came up, said hi. Some people recognized us from YouTube and Instagram, which was cool. So we really appreciate you guys. And uh, just want to give a huge, huge shout out to Team O'Reilly for inviting us out. We had so much fun. Can't 
can't say enough good things about the conference. Yep. So I think that's going to do it for this video. And we will see you guys next week with more car content. So cheers.